Flynn. It is Friday, and you are watching the best show ever. That's right. And it is time now for some pillow talk, the decorative kind. Don't worry. <laughs> they are an easy way to change up the feel of your home, especially when we're transitioning your decor from summer to fall. That's right. But what kind of pillows should we be looking for? Well, we're here with interior designer Margaret Ash, and she's going to explain that we don't have to blow our budget, which is real nice. <laughs> yes. So as a interior designer, a lot of my clients come to me wanting custom pillows. And as you know, with supply chain, everything is taking so much more time. Right. And so whether you have interior design in your budget or you want to try to do it on your own, right. I'm going to show you how to freshen up your current pillows or give a little jazz to some retail bought I love pillows. Okay, well, I mean, supply chain, up. inflation, nobody has, well, not many have the money yes. to consistently change their right. decor, yes. right. uh, you know, up. in an expensive way. So I love that we can and, do this kind of on a budget. And plaids are making a huge comeback. I mean, they are a classic. Yeah. And um, so I have, I'm gonna show you two ways to know if um, a pillow is of good quality. Oh, okay. okay, so okay. the first thing is you wanna make sure your pillow has the same fabric on both sides. Oh. Uh huh. So see this one, they've had yep. a more expensive fabric on the front yep. and then a less expensive solid on the back. I see, okay. See, and then see that, people? The best thing to do is to tell the fill. Oh. So inexpensive pillows will have a poly fill, which is a foam um, kind uh -huh. of batting. And okay. then down is a feather fill. Mm -hmm. And you, when you move away your, your supports, the down should be able to keep its oh, shape better. Oh, that better. one goes down. You know, you ever have pillows on a sofa and they fall down? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So what you want to do is these are both two pillows from Ballard Design. I went to um, a store here in Nashville called um, Fabric Gallery and Decor. Mm -hmm. There's some other great sources such as Textile Fabrics and Fabric House where you can buy um, Pasmantri and... Um, fabric by the yard to Ooh. make your own pillows. Ooh. Or if you don't know how to sew, like I don't, yeah. <laughs> no. you can zhuzh them up. Okay, okay let's so judge. this is another pillow I bought from Ballard and I turned it inside out. Okay. I used a seam ripper. You can also use fingernail scissors. Uh -huh. um, you just want to open it up, open each corner up. I didn't know we were doing a DIY oh, yeah. today. This is fun. Well, I only do non-sew <laughs> DIY. Okay, so like that. So you open it up, and then there's this great stuff called liquid stitch. Huh. And it's glue for fabrics. Okay. So you just want to put a couple of drops in there, mm. and then I just clip it with a... Um, chip clip. Chip clip. <laughs> yeah, that works. And then once it's dry, you can cut off this extra, mm. and then you just... Flip it inside out. There goes our seam ripper. It's okay. He's Once it's on. dry, and it will look like this pillow right here. Oh my gosh. Cute. So it's wow. just adding, you know, it's not bedazzling, but it's adding a more sophisticated touch. Right. Um, no, I love that. A little goes a long way, yes. right? But you do have a couple other tips when it comes to taking an inexpensive pillow and making it look or feel more yes. expensive. What yes. were those? Because I, yeah. I read, so I the read feel, them and they were great. The feel is adding the, dill, the down fill. Oh, so okay. this one. See how that one feels better? Oh, yeah. And I'll show you actually the difference. So, poly, a, a poly insert is going to be this stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. That the it's going to look clumpy. Yeah. It's, they're going to, this is new, but over time it's going to, look really emaciated. Okay. So then, <laughs> yes. That's, it's hungry. Yeah, it, it's a hungry pillow. <laughs> and then down, now I'm going to say, you don't want to open this up or this fill up because the feathers are everywhere. Yeah, right. But that's what makes it so comfy mm -hmm. when you are lounging on it, mm -hmm. sitting gotcha. on it. And then, yeah, just freshening it up with some trim. You can do some tassels. You can add a little tape trim Ooh. to the front. Again, glue it on. You know, love that. Um, a lot of just simple things, and I love being able to source locally. So the stores exactly um, are great Very places. Important. Yes, too. here Aww. in Middle Tennessee, why wouldn't you? Wonderful. Um, okay, and can we do this? Oh yes, yes. you want. Okay, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Shop polyfill. It. You can't really change the shape, but no. you want to be able to do that. Yeah, yep. beat, beat it, it. Beat it. it. Then do the karate chop. Yep, the karate chop, and that completes the pillow, <laughs> yes. folks. 
<laughs> nice and comfy. That's so awesome. Your fall lounging and your you. pumpkin spice latte. Oh, we, I love we it. We needed that little that little touch of fall. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You so much. Yes. Well, to check out more of her work, visit margaretashdesign.com. The site is impeccable, and you can give lots of ideas and on how to make little changes to your home, just like this. All right.